Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So recently I decided to try an exercise in discipline and I wanted to see if I could draw every single weekday for three months. So in today's video, I'd like to share with you my experiences, my lessons and the results I achieved in these past three months. So for this three month discipline challenge, what I did was I tried to sit down every day for at least one hour. It would use, each drawing or sketch would usually take about one hour. And sometimes I do two to three in one day if I had time. And for these sketches, I mostly drew owls as the subject because I'm currently doing a one-year owl project and eventually I'll make a video about that in the future about go more in depth on what that one-year owl project is but for now I mostly drew owls and sometimes I would draw other animals and a little bit of architecture as well and the reason I wanted to do this challenge is because I wanted to see how my drawings might evolve over time and I thought this would just be a cool challenge and it just gives me the space and room to experiment without being afraid because if the drawing I did today got ruined or I messed it up in some way, I knew the next day I was just going to do another drawing. There was nothing to worry about. There's no need to be afraid of anything. So the way that I did this was that I usually did the drawing first thing in the morning. It'd be one of the first things I did in my day because that was usually the most important thing I had to do for the day and one of the hardest things I had to do because I realized some days when I would put the drawing off till later in the evening or in the afternoon, I didn't have the same kind of energy or motivation to do it. So I would do it first thing in the morning and this idea kind of comes from the book uh, eat that frog and it's kind of like do the most important or most difficult task first thing in the morning and then everything else in your day is much easier than that task so it's easier to get things done that way when you do the hardest thing first so after I finished the drawing it kind of freed up the rest of my day so I could focus on whatever I wanted to do that day so I set my intention every night that okay the next day I'm gonna draw I'm gonna draw first thing in the morning after I do my daily morning chores and routine like feeding my cat, maybe making some tea, uh, just preparing a few things. And then I would sit down and draw. You know, I'd sit down at my desk here and all my materials are very accessible. So right over here, I have like sketchbooks, you know, things ready to go. I have pens, everything is right here, very accessible. There's no resistance for this goal or this task. It's very easy for me to achieve it and to do it every day. I also saved, before I did this task, I also took some time, went online, I saved a bunch of reference photos, like 40 or 50 reference photos. So then every day I would just look through the reference photos and figure out what do I feel? What is speaking to me today? What do I feel like drawing today? And then I would just choose a reference photo and that's what I would draw. And then having all this structure in place, having the materials nearby, having the reference photos ready to go and having that intention the night before, it's kind of whole system structure to my day and for this one task, uh, it just really creates less resistance. You know, there's no, there's nothing I have to fight against to do this drawing. Everything is already in place. I just need to follow the task, follow the system, and everything kind of falls into place, so to speak. So having this intention to do this every morning, that was really the important part, is having that intention, setting that in my mind. And then all I had to do was sit down and just follow through with the intention. And the way that I did this is by using self-discipline, not motivation. What it means to me to have self-discipline is to do something even if you don't feel like doing it. And there were many times where I sat down or I woke up that day and I was like, I really don't feel like doing the drawing today, but I did it. And sometimes I didn't feel like doing it and I would do two drawings. And then there were some weeks where I did two drawings every day because I just wanted to get ahead of schedule. So I just did two drawings every day and doubled up and uh, it really increased my, my discipline. The thing that helped me stay disciplined was using the app Notion. I've talked about it before probably. And it's kind of my system to help me keep track of my tasks and my goals. I just have these databases in this system that automatically tells me what I need to do every day. I've already had it planned out for the entire year for the most part. And then I just follow what's in it, what it says to do today. Okay, this is what I need to do. I need to do a drawing, sit down and do it. And this idea kind of helped me many years ago. I read this book called The War of Art. And it's a, it's a book about writing, but it's also just a book about being creative. The main idea of the book is basically to just show up every day and do the thing you want to do. Treat it like a job. Show up and perform no matter how you feel about it. The only thing that would stop me is my own mental state. My own mindset would stop me. I had to fight through that 
resistance and just sit down and draw every morning. And by doing that, I'm building self-discipline and I'm building a habit. So here's some things that I learned uh, through these last three months and kind of this whole journey and process. The first thing I learned was that I don't always want to draw. Even though it's something I love to do, it's not something I always wanna do. There's some days where I just don't wanna draw and maybe that's okay, uh, especially if I don't depend on drawing for my main income source, my entire income source. I think it's okay if there's days where I don't draw. And maybe there's some days when I feel more motivated to draw, <laughs> motivated, that maybe I'll draw two drawings or three drawings or the whole day I'll just sit there and draw. But there are times it's important, I learned that it's important to be disciplined and do it when you need to do it, no matter what you feel like. And that it's possible to do something well, even if you don't feel like doing it. Sometimes the best drawings I did were on the days that I didn't feel like drawing. It's pretty interesting. Another thing I learned was that not every drawing is good. And in fact, great and excellent drawings are very rare. I would probably get, if I was lucky, I would get two to three good drawings out of 10. So only two good drawings out of, you know, maybe one per week on average, I would get a good drawing. And then to get a really great drawing, it'd be like one out of 10, one out of every two weeks. So that was interesting to see the frequency of drawings that I really enjoyed and that I thought were really high quality. And then that most of the time they were kind of just average, mediocre, or even less than average drawings. Another cool thing that I observed was that all the drawings together, looking through the sketchbook and seeing all these owl drawings, that I started to create a style. Um, even though I wasn't really trying to draw any certain way, I was just naturally drawing how I drew. And then being able to look back through all of them, I can see that, oh, there's kind of a style here. And then there was elements that I experimented with like drawing a circle for the background or something. And then I, I started repeating that through all the drawings and it really links all the drawings together, really ties them all together. And it's cool to see like a style throughout multiple drawings, even though it's just me naturally drawing the way that I draw. An important thing I learned is that I have more time in my day than I think. So when I would wake up and do the drawing first thing, it only takes me about an hour. And I realized the more drawings I kept doing over time, some of them would only take me 45 minutes, maybe 40 minutes. And some took a little bit longer depending on how much I want to experiment or if I ran into a creative problem that I had to solve and try to make the drawing better. It might take me an hour and 20 minutes or an hour and 10 minutes. But I learned that by doing this first thing in the morning, now I have the rest of the day, I have so much time actually to do all kinds of things. And I feel like when I put off the drawing until later in the afternoon, I feel like now I'm rushing to do the drawing and I don't have any time to do it. I think by doing it first thing in the morning, it's just a huge game changer changer. An interesting thing that I learned was that by posting these on social media most of the time, the ones that I thought were really great and that were my favorites, my audience didn't agree. I noticed that just by looking at the comments and the likes, I noticed ones that I thought were just okay, people really loved. And then ones that I thought were really awesome, people just thought they were average. So that was a very interesting insight. And I don't know whether I'm right or the audience is right. And I think maybe we're both right. <laughs> So it's an interesting insight to always pay attention to that and to see what other people are attracted to. Usually it's not always high quality uh, or technical ability that people like. Normally it's like color or just how simplified a drawing is and how strong it appears. There's all these different factors of why people like things. It's very interesting to think about with your own art. And really the last thing that I learned uh, is that the more that I drew every day, the more as these months went by, the more confident I became. Naturally, the process became quicker I was able to do the initial sketches a little bit quicker, maybe just by a few minutes. Depends on the subject, of course. I noticed that solving certain problems to really make the drawing a strong drawing, I was able to make bold decisions more quickly and, and not be afraid to try things. And I could solve the problem a lot easier because it's already problems that I solved. You know, how do I shade this and make it more bold? How do I give more contrast to the subject? These kinds of things. And it also expanded my mind of like things I can try to experiment with. Even though I solved that creative problem the same way a time earlier, now I can kind of push it a little bit more and see if this works even better. So it was just a lot of fun experimenting and problem solving. And I learned a lot from that and I just became more confident 
overall with my drawings. So just to wrap this up a little bit here, I will kind of recap. So drawing every day increased my confidence and it strengthened my discipline. It changed the way I think about my day in terms of time and structure. And even though I love creating art and drawing, there's times in my in days where I need a break. I just don't feel like doing it. I don't want to do it. And I think sometimes having that rest is really important. And I also gained a lot of insights about creating a style and what it means to have a style, which drawings were great and why, which drawings my audience actually likes to see. So I think if you decided to start drawing more consistently, I'm sure you'll learn a lot more than you think. You know, on the surface, it seems like you'll only learn stuff about drawing in the process, but in reality, there's just a lot more lessons to learn from this discipline of daily drawing. So I really recommend you guys just try it for like one month, you know, a certain, pick a certain specific uh, time frame that you think you can do it in, maybe one week, maybe two weeks, maybe one month, 21 days, something like that, and draw every day consistently first thing in the morning and just see how it changes your mindset. See how it changes how you approach your time, your day, how you approach your drawings. Um, it may make you realize that you're able to do more than you thought. And it may make you more diligent and more productive in your daily life and just overall with your art creation and whatever you want to achieve in your own life. So I really recommend giving this a shot and hope you found this video, hope you enjoyed it and learned something from it. Let me know down in the comments below what you learned or what you enjoyed the most. I'd love to hear from you. Be sure to check out other videos on my channel. I do videos about drawing, creativity, curiosity, productivity. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Take care of yourself. Peace, my friends.